In the landscape of modern political and cultural discourse, humor has become a powerful tool for exposing the cracks in media credibility, public trust, and the very notion of social truth. The reaction to Caitlin Collins' remarks has ignited concerns over media, bias, and the insidious impact of propaganda on public opinion. This moment has fueled a broader conversation about the urgent need for more transparent and responsible journalism, as people grapple with immediate worries about media integrity and a deeper, more profound fear that the truth in public discourse is slowly slipping away. Is Trump has kind of been thrown on his heels by this, and he's not really sure how to go after Vice President Harris. He knew his attack lines on, on President Biden. He really has struggled with how to how to go after someone who's 20 years younger than him, who is a different gender, a different race. It's kind of been this moment where he has not been able to coalesce around a single attack line. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> oh, I know. A CNN makes a, I know. Was that supposed to be a lab line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. Um, what, what, I, what, I, what I wanted to ask is that you guys still have your own feelings, your own bets about what's going to happen on a daily basis. Did you think that Biden was going to step down? Did that take everybody over at CNN by surprise? The skepticism and distrust that many people harbor toward mainstream media outlets like CNN have reached a boiling point. The laughter that erupted in response to Stephen Colbert's assertion that CNN is objective is a telling sign of this widespread disillusionment. For many, it highlights the perception that the network is more invested in pushing specific narratives than in reporting the news with fairness and accuracy. The mocking response to Caitlin Collins underscores this sentiment as viewers increasingly see her and her network as symbols of a deeper problem, one that is eroding the public's faith in objective journalism and leaving many to wonder if the truth is becoming a casualty in the battle for influence and control.